What's up everybody, my name is Fico and this is my gaming mind and first off, I'd like to apologize that I again doing this in low quality, I still haven't set up my gear back there, laziness, I know. And another reason is because I have been just made aware of this, I have to take care of a couple of things prior to getting to this and then something else came along the way that made me want to just do this video so i'm gonna try to do this quickly because i do have to get started working really soon so bear with me now as many of you know if you got watchdogs you know that you might have heard of some kind of issues with the pc version and the pc version of this game i have also made aware with people that I'm not quite happy how in terms of how it runs and also how it looks a lot of people complained that the game doesn't look like it did when it was on E3 two years ago and well a lot of people thought that well it was a bait and switch it was just to get you excited for the game and apparently from there you were just supposed to be like, well, okay, you know what, it still doesn't look great, but you know what, at least it runs better on the consoles, because a lot of people are complaining that the game doesn't run as well on the PC. And people on the PC have also been complaining about uh, why is it that it runs weak on AMD cards. Apparently the rumor was that they had some kind of deal to work with NVIDIA and then they purposely made the game so that it runs better on NVIDIA cards so that people would think that it works better on NVIDIA cards. Okay. Regardless of what it is, I thought it was really shitty of them to do. And, well, the console version of Watch Dogs wasn't affected. I didn't think of it too much. I guess I felt, well, you know what, the PC version runs like shit, I'm sure they'll get around and fix that. Then I heard of a story in which apparently something's going on with Far Cry 4 by Ubisoft as well. And apparently, according to this uh, article by MrGamesOfficial.com, and this was brought to my attention by my friend Axel, it's that they're trying to get the Far Cry, the PS4, and the Xbox One versions to be equivalent to PC Ultra High. They are trying to make all three versions of the game run exactly the same. Now, according to this article, it says that the differences in graphics will be between past generation, current generation, and PC generation went into depth. And it was in the Major Nelson podcast. He explained that in regards to Far Cry 4 on the PS4 and Xbox One, the studio was able to get it to run at ultra high PC quality immediately. And he goes further to explain that Ubisoft wants the experience to be the same across all platforms. Now, uh, even this is prompted by concern because it's mainly, mainly in the PC community because it says that many are fearing a similar situation will occur with the recent one with Watch Dogs. Then, uh, what it makes it would be, what Anne's article shared was uh, it was a video from Total Biscuits claiming that there was apparently a way to turn on original graphics effects from E3 2012. Now, may I, may I be clear, clear about this? I didn't say modded to look like it looked back at E3 2012. I didn't say some modder came up and did things like give the light bloom, the default fog value, the uh, shadow, shadow for the headlights, the LOD changes, rain changes, uh, lighting changes. I'm not saying, uh, uh, and, uh, and there are also some stuttering improvements and performance improvements. I didn't say that this modder by the name of the worst found a way to make them look. I said he found a way to turn them on. Turn them on. Which means they were turned off? They were turned off. 
why would you turn them off? Because that would mean that Ubisoft had the game as it was originally intended and decided to turn those off purposely so that the game would run the way we started complaining about it. Why would Ubisoft do that? Hmm? Why would Ubisoft do that? Why would they purposely make people think that the PC version of this game is not as good as the console versions? Hmm. Well, apparently, there is theories that it turned that it's possibly because either Sony or Microsoft or both are paying Ubisoft to not do this. I mean, in this article for Far Cry 4, discussing about how they how they supposedly want to make and nerf the PC versions of these games to look like they're not as good as these next-gen consoles. Even though we as gamers know that the specs for both consoles are not as good as a newer PC. There is no reason that better hardware on these computers should not run your game better. But that's that's for those uh, who don't do any of the research. So somehow, for some reason now, apparently they want you all to think that having a PC is just as good as having a console, a PS4, or an Xbox One. They think it's just as good. They want to make you think that it's as good. So, why would you want to shell out all that money? Why would you need a PC, right? That's the mentality that they want gamers to have. If the games are going to run just the same, then you don't need to upgrade your computer. This is bullshit this is crap i cannot believe that i'm seeing this i cannot believe that i'm hearing about features that were promised and then they were turned they were able to be turned on because they were purposely turned off now they're planning on making the game purposely run just as good as it uh, in all three just so that we can think that Oh, well, you know, if why would we want to upgrade our computers to make the games run better? Because logically, I mean, that's what we've been able to do. Why is it that we have to do that where now I could just get a Sony PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One from Microsoft? Then the games will run the same. Numb will be the wiser. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Isn't it, isn't it freaking obvious? Isn't, I mean, it makes even more sense if you watch Total Biscuit because he doesn't go out and say that both of them did it because they don't benefit each other. He thinks that maybe Sony did it because apparently they, were, they have more exclusivity deals with Sony. Apparently there's a Watch Dogs movie. I didn't know that. That was in production and turns out that it was done through a company that's owned by Sony. Hmm. In typical corporate greed fashion, we have companies that are trying to screw you, the gamer, so that gets you to think that you're getting a better experience. There's a reason why the Sony uh, version of the game runs better than the PC, because that's, how, that's exactly how they intended it to be. This modder, thank you. Thank you the worst. Thank you for unlocking this because now I could actually reasonably now say I why would I want to get the PS4 version of it? I mean, let me don't get me wrong. I really like the PS4 version of it. I, I enjoy it because that was that's because I enjoy the game period. But after seeing this and now you guys are planning to do this again on Far Cry 4? It just blows my mind. It blows my mind. And for what? Be because 
because Sony or Microsoft or both are scared that the PC gamers are still going to be rolling over their next gen consoles. So they're giving gamers a reason to not upgrade. This is pure greed and pure fear. If you are so unconfident that your consoles can beat the PC, because let me be wrong, it's not going to happen either way because the PC is always changing. If you're that concerned, then offer better games. That's it. Offer games you can't get on the PC. Give the me incentives. I mean, I already want an Xbox One for Sunset Overdrive. I already want a PS4 because of the exclusive content that I'm that they've been offering and the companies themselves, not Sony, the companies the developers are doing. But don't do this. Okay? This is bullcrap. And I do not agree with this. Because they are screwing you in the face. And they're smiling about it because I know that they're sociopaths. They don't care. They don't fucking care. As long as you buy a PlayStation 4, that's all they care about. <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredible. I... I didn't want to believe that this was all intentional. I thought that this was just like, okay, Ubisoft didn't get their shit together. And even with these features lock unlocked, it's apparently still doesn't run as good. The, the optimization is still poor. But I don't know. But I'm glad that this is unpublic and I want to share it with people because this is crap you should be concerned about. Do not let Ubisoft get away with this. Let them know. Tell them to their faces. Tell them. Bombard them with messages. Tell them that this is crap and the PC community does not stand for this. Because if you don't say anything and this ends up being true, then PC gamers are getting screwed up having an experience. I'm sure the game will run just as just as intended but the reason but the problem is that the the way they just intend it to run it, this game it's just out a way that'll give you an advantage if you own a console and that's it and it's completely bull crap i do not support this i do not agree with this and if it's true uh that they're aiming at this because i mean I mean, they're the articles, but I'm going to link all the articles. I'm going to link the Far Cry 4 article, the Watch Dogs, how to turn on the original graphics. I'm also going to link Total Biscuits video for the uh, was Watch Dogs for PC handicapped on purpose. He goes into more detail um, in specific into Watch Dogs. But to me, this is more like a what the flying fuck are you doing Ubisoft video. Seriously, get your, get, stop this bullshit, because, you know, it's, it's things like these that will get people to start believing that you're a dishonest fucking company, and don't get me wrong, the games that you make, if you, I mean, the games that you make are, are great, but don't sell yourself to another company so that they could buy people could buy more of their console so that way they could say oh well you could just we'll we'll be sure to offer some more of that stuff with you guys it's a quick pro quo but in the end you're screwing gamers and also we live in an age where everything is on the net so don't think that this shady bullcrap isn't gonna escape us we're not idiots I'm going to leave all the articles like I mentioned before. And you decide for yourself if, I mean, whether it's Microsoft or Sony, it doesn't matter. It's Ubisoft at the end that are doing these decisions. And they're not concerned about gamers at all. So, that's just me. But, I hope that this makes a, a attention. And I hope that Ubisoft does decide to leave the PC port of Far Cry 4 alone because 
if they do this and I start seeing that videos later when Far Cry 4 comes out of high-end machines that can make Sony PlayStation 4s and Xbox their bitches and they run all the same then what are we gonna need a modder to <laughs> change this do yourselves a favor you're doing yourselves much good by just letting it happen because more PC gamers will buy your game and the PS4 and the Xbox 360 owners that don't have a PC and have, they'll be fine because they'll get the game too. You don't have to get me to buy a console just to get the better experience or the same experience. You're not turning me away from PC gaming. I've been doing it too long. I still console game anyway, so you're not, you're not, you're not gaining anything from doing this. Seriously, Ubisoft, stop it. But that's my take on it. What do you guys think? I'm going to read the articles, watch the video, and y'all let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You can follow my social links down at the bottom. Like the video and subscribe if you want. My next video, I promise, back there. <laughs> you know, better quality and this camera. I hope one day to get it improved so that if I do these quick vlog videos for you, they'll be in a little better quality. This one's a little older, so maybe the C920 maybe one day, so who knows. <laughs> or if you guys know a better web camera for better quality, just let me know and I'll maybe consider getting it as well. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Fico. That was my gaming mind. Get your shit together, Ubisoft. <laughs> Seriously, get your shit together.